Oh my god, I've never seen so many crappies. Oh yeah. Here we go. This is a bigger one. This is a bigger one. What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to NB Edits. And by welcome back, I mean you haven't seen us in over two months. The last time Nick and I actually put out a video together was nearly three months ago. We were wearing yeah, holy cow. shorts and a t-shirt. Now guys, as you guys know, it's November. Uh, we're coming up on ice fishing season. So what Nick and I are out here doing today is we're doing a little ice report for you guys and hopefully getting on some ice. Well, I've got good news for you. We have a lake up here in northern Wisconsin that freezes fast. Uh, for just being around 100 acres, it freezes pretty quick compared to other lakes. So with that being said, Nick, uh, you want to do the honors? Yeah. So, Check this uh, here out. Here we are. This is uh, the earliest we've ever been out. Now, normally you would check the shoreline. I already went about 15, 20 feet out before we started filming. So I know this is all safe, but guys, here we are, northern Wisconsin. We're on hard water. We plan on fishing about 50 yards out that way. So we got a little bit of a hike and we're gonna make sure we use our spud bar to uh, check the ice and make sure we're safe out there. But guys, this is the earliest we've been out. We are going to attempt to do some early ice crappie fishing. And uh, I am so excited to get back on the grind and to get out here and to film some videos for you. So. We're gonna get all of our stuff, walk on out there, and hopefully catch some crappies, so let's go. All right, so right now, Nick's got the spud bar ahead of me. We're just gonna kind of mind our distance because we are walking on less than two inches. I'm just taking very baby steps. That's a nice crack. The problem is, is I don't know if you guys can see this, but those are weeds. This ice is crystal clear, which is, I mean, the safest ice you can ask for, but at the same time, it's also the scariest because you can see straight to the bottom. We're only in a couple of feet of water, but I mean, seeing all these weeds is, whoo, is it intimidating. So, I know every time I take a hit with my spud bar, if it doesn't go through on one hit, I know that I can safely walk on the ice. Each spud bar is different. Every person is different for how much ice they can walk on. But I know I got about a solid two inches every time I hit through. So, it's gonna keep doing this until we get to the magic spot. All right, we're almost there. And I think this is about where we're gonna start the day. See if we can uh, try drilling some holes and see if we can find some crappies way out here. I just got hit. I just oh, got hit. first swing and a miss of the season. Oh, God. Cracking below us. Got him. Got him. Let's go. It's a small one. Yeah. <laughs> Giant. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, that feels good. Honestly, guys, I'm so pumped to get out here. That is a tiny little fish. But that is my first little guy of the year. Check it out, guys. 2019 ice fishing has truly begun. I got to get going to work here soon. See you later, buddy. Oh, that was try so to, try cool. Try to catch one more, real quick. Yeah. There's like a I whole bunch of them, and then go to work. My managers at work got to understand, right, guys? If not, quit my job. <laughs> Leave a like if Brandon should quit his job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, all the love and support is appreciated. And if you guys keep it up, keep watching our videos. I'm gonna try and catch bigger fish than this. That's number two, baby. <laughs> Once Let's you leave, go. I'll catch the 14 inches. I know, oh, I know, it's gonna happen. They're here, they're for sure here. Give it to me. Oh yeah, see ya buddy. Thanks for stopping by. That's awesome. That's gonna do it for me, at least for today. You guys can guarantee I'm gonna be out here tomorrow. I'm gonna be out bright and early. I did not wanna come out here alone. That's why I called Nick and obviously he came all the way up from central Wisconsin. I live uh, about an hour and a half, two hours north of him. So with that being said, we are in northern Wisconsin. Nick's gonna continue fishing. We're out here on ice. I have to go to work and I'm a sad, sad little boy. I'll send you a picture. Oh, I know. Crossing. I know I'm gonna get photos today of you out here just catching. Hopefully, you get into a big one, man. Give me some. Good luck today. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> have fun at work. Yeah, I gotta walk back, but hey, here's the Markham. Here's my rod. Go for it. Catch some fish. Run the GoPro and uh, yeah, if you catch a 15-inch crappie, I'm gonna be pissed. 
Okay, so now Brandon is gone. So that probably means I'm just gonna start getting on top of fish. Cause that, uh, that seems to be how it works for him. So we will see if we can get one interested. There's one coming up right now. Seems like once you uh, get one or two fish down there, that's when they really start to get active. That's when you really uh, get those those bites. There we go. There we go. Oh, it seems a little better. Come on, crappie. Oh, not bad. Big old bluegill, actually. Oh, that's why it's being a little finesse. Because uh, usually the crappies on this lake, once you mark them, they're absolutely just destroying it. But big bull bluegill, sometimes a little more finesse. Had to really work them, but hey, that's a gorgeous fish. My first bluegill of the year. That is awesome. I get a release on them right away. There he goes. Got a few fish down this hole. Let's see if we can get one to bite here before I go to work. Oh, we got one climbing. We got one climbing big time. Oh, come on. Don't just stop like that. Absolutely. Dropped it right down where he wanted it. And then he came up and said hello. Another crappie. Nothing big, but hey, I will take it. I wanted one more fish before I had to leave to go to work. Looks like I'm out of school here quick, so. Can't leave after you find one crappie, right? It's got four or five on my screen, so. It's almost a guarantee that one's gonna hit. Oh, oh my God, I just ripped that one's lip. Oh, that's one thing about crappies. That's very frustrating. There's a reason they're called paper mouths because their mouths are like paper. There we go. There we go, that's the size we're looking for. Nice, healthy, beautiful crappie. We're on a school now, so we're taking control here. Drop him back down. And see if we can get another one here. Oh my God, I've never seen so many crappies. Oh yeah, here we go. This is a bigger one. This is a bigger one. Get up here. Nice. Holy cow, so this school is really, really big, really, really aggressive. Come on, I gotta figure out how to freaking get this guy. All right, that's not a bad crappie. I would take it. There's a whole handful of them still. I'm gonna see if I can get a few more. Ah, oh, here he comes again. There we go. A little smaller than the last one by a lot. And with that note, I think that is gonna be it for me. I should really be packing it up and heading back. I gotta drive about an hour to, uh, get back in there, what are you doing? I gotta drive another hour or so, get ready for work and then uh, go to work and have a lot of fun. So yeah, there's that. All right guys, unfortunately, that's gonna be it for today's episode. Really, really fun to get out here and to do some early ice fishing. I can't believe I'm already saying that because we're already over a week earlier than what we were last year. The weather's just working in our favor this year. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Show some support, show some love for early ice because guys, we're back. We're gonna be posting an absolute ton of videos. We're gonna be trying to do stuff that we haven't done on the channel, which is post two or three videos a week for sure, all winter long. It's gonna be nuts, it's gonna be awesome. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it, so make sure you like it, subscribe to the channel, and uh, stay up to date because we're gonna be flying the videos your way. I'm going to uh, finish packing up, and I gotta get I gotta get home and go to work, unfortunately, so that kinda of sucks, but we'll be out tomorrow. We'll be filming more videos. Stay tuned, like I said, and until next time, guys, tight lines from NB Edits.